So I have a bunch of new plant videos I want to make, but until then, I'm going to take you through all of the plants right now while I water them. I've lost a bunch of plants since the last plant video, and I think I figured out why, so I've allowed myself to buy a couple new plants since. I'm just gonna give snake plants and whatever less cactuses back in there. I don't ever remember its name. Give them all a good watering. The smaller snake plant right here keeps trying to pop out of the soil. In fact, there's still some mess from when it flung itself free. These aloes are still doing really well, despite having no drainage hole. Which is something I'm going to remedy at some point. But, you know, they don't seem to care. Here's my flapjack with no more pink markings. Which is okay. And then I also got a sunstar, and as you can see, it's done blooming. And it kind of looks like I've been overwatering it, like it's super yellow. And I think what's happened is that once it stopped blooming, it started needing less water, and I kept watering it the same amount. So that's my bad, and hopefully it will recover and survive. And then here's whatever these guys are. I'm sorry I didn't get to show the Sunstar while it was in bloom. It was very pretty. Bright orange. And at the end of this watering cycle, I'll make sure that all the water's off the leaves here. Don't remember the name of this guy. He's also pretty new. Woo! Goodbye water. Just why that's there. <laughs> Doing pretty good. Needs this removed. This one. Okay. You can see my plants are kind of ateliated, but also kind of not. I think it really just depends on the week's weather. Because they all seem to grow pretty fast. This is like the last remaining pearl plant. There's one more <laughs> with just one leaf that's still kicking for some reason. This one seems to be doing really good, so I'm glad I didn't lose all of them. Because that would have been a bummer. And it's got some new growth. So that's nice. Here's think the very last piece of my aloe aristata, which is so sad. The mom plant died and several of the pups died and it's just so sad. And this guy's like barely hanging on. I don't know if it's going to make it. And then here's a little piece of whatever this is, which died like as soon as I replanted it, it all died. And I don't think this part's going to live, but that's okay. I'm sure I can find more of it somewhere. And then here's these guys, whatever they are. Doing good. Everybody's gonna get rotated after this too. Oh, I can't remember the name of any of these guys right now. This one had a really hard time. Like it just drops leaves if you so much as breathe on them, I swear. But it seems to be doing pretty good now. Got some good new growth going on. Yeah, there you go. New growth, looking good. There's some dead leaves back here. So if you don't know, you want to remove dead leaves so that rotting plant matter doesn't attract pests, which is very important to me. Because if, oops, something gets a pest, I typically just throw it out. Because I don't want it getting, spreading to the rest of my plants. This guy still has some growth on it, but no roots yet, right? Yeah, no. Is that a root? I think so. I don't know. I don't water it. I just try to keep it in the soil. Hope for the best. Okay. These guys are doing good. They got stuck inside of a new... Oh, this one's officially dead, I guess. Yeah, like I lost this guy, which was a really weird looking, cool looking plant. And I lost the tiger's jaw, which was really sad because that was really cool looking. But again, I can just get more. Whoa, too much water. Sorry, guys. Water some of the quote-unquote baby plants in here. A lot of these guys need some repotting, which is on the video to-do list. General to-do list. Dead leaves here. Come on. The jade plant leaves crystallize when they die. Like, not literally, but they look, like, sparkly. It's 
pretty cool. I mean, obviously I don't want them dropping a bunch of leaves, but it's still pretty cool. And this guy is doing good still. Looking real cute in its pot. And I don't know what to do with that one pearl leaf, so whatever. And down here, all of these guys are doing pretty good. They need, um, the Crassulas need more watering than everything except the Sunstar. So, I water them more than once a week. Everybody else only gets watered once a week at most. And especially now that it's spring. This guy's new, whatever he is. This guy's the closest to the sun, so it's super stretched out. And I would chop it off, let it grow roots and replant it, but that's how my plants keep dying, so maybe not. And I've got this necklace, which was a gift. Very appreciated, it's so cute. It's outgrowing its little container, but I don't know what to do about that yet. To water this one, I just stick some water. Whoops, too much. Let that soak in. But yeah, I just stick some water in here and then stick it in there. You know, like the end of the day or something, I'll come get that back again. All right. One turn for everybody. turn the back ones as much. And I don't see any bugs. So that's good. I'm gonna turn you more. Oh, dropped a leaf. Into the tray. Okay. Oh, and I got this plant. But it's in isolation. Just in case it has any bugs but it looks like it could use some water too. I like crassulas quite a lot. I think they're neat. Crassulas and colonchoes, I would say are my favorite. Okay, watering pot goes back under. Let's take a look at these guys, make sure they're Get a little brush to brush these guys off. Okay. There you go. Plant update. Had a really rough time for a couple of months where everything was dying, but everything seems to be doing pretty good now. I hope that one lives.